my little army of beavers, we are back. And of course, when we left off last time, we had just finished most of our industrial district. Uh, we haven't finished two of our buildings. It looks like our explosive factory and our paper mill. But we finished our power source, at least, for the most part. And with that, we opened up some room over here for some more food. We fixed our food issues. We did a lot of things. For those of you who are just tuning in to uh, the series... We're playing on hard mode, which means there's up to 30 days, no water. Uh, it can be a fun time, can be a hard time, can be a bad time. We don't know yet. But we are in the middle of a very short, mild drought. We got six days left. So we're going to pop through this really quick. Uh, they are almost done up here, which is going to be very nice. As soon as they're done with that, we'll be able to build another farmhouse up here. And get some more stuff going. And we're gonna need some more beavers pretty soon. We are running kind of low on beavers. But I'd rather run low on beavers than run low on resources. So this is what we're going to do. This episode, we're gonna finish this farming area up here, for the most part. Uh, we're going to try and expand our food industry. I would like to get a grist mill or a bakery because we can just turn so I'd like to get a bakery, some stuff going. As of right now, the water levels are good. So I think we're going to be just fine for the rest of this drought. Yeah, we're going to be just fine. Like I said, uh, we fixed our food issue last episode. So now we have a mass amount of grilled spatter dock baked potatoes. Still not a whole lot of carrots. Um, I'm not really sure how carrots work. Or if I just need bigger fields. But that's an issue for another day. Like we have enough. Is this the planters? And this is the harvesters, right? I only need one planter. That's, it should be the same over here. Which one's the planter? That's the harvester. We only need like a singular planter. Those other beavers are going to be welcomed up here at our new farmhouse, which will be built probably on the water. That way we have full access to the land over here. So we'll do that. We're going to build our efficient farmhouse right here. That way they have full access to the land here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Just like that. I wish we had terraforming and stuff already, but we need to get the energy problems figured out. We're also going to get these, at least one, three of these built. Yep, that's, that sounds about right. We need three of these built. The fourth one can just wait. That way, and that's just so we can get rid of this. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Six days left in this drought. How's our industrial area looking? What's left over here? 15 gears. And 30 gears. That's all we need is gears. It's wild. But they have pretty good productivity, too. It's interesting. We do have six beavers without jobs now, which is honestly kind of a good number. Because sometimes beavers are going to pass away of old age. It comes in waves. So let's see if our 1 to 4 ratio works. Or our 1 to 3 ratio. Yeah, by the time potatoes are done harvesting, the one guy comes out and plants all of them. Yeah, that's fine. Because once they harvest, they replant. Okay. That works fine by me. <clears throat> all of these trees are good. These are good. Yeah, I think we're good. Unpause you and unpause you. get some water flowing. Apparently, update 5 is already out, or has been teased. I guess we're going to get bad tides or something like that. That's a terrifying thought. I really don't want to deal with that kind of stuff. But now I'm kind of thinking, we're about to have explosives. We're building an explosives factory. We're going to get some dynamite. I'm thinking we cut a channel in. Now hear me out. Only for the wet season. But while this is overflowing, because we have it cut right here, right, we cut a channel in and add some water, uh, water wheels. English is not my best friend right now. We add some water wheels in right here, so the water overflows into this area. Maybe we can figure out a way to get it back into here. Not really sure how it's going to work, but we do have our smelter going. He's not really super high on the list, but we're getting there. We'll go get their gears eventually. But hey, there we go. Now we can start doing this, which is assign this. 
because next to that I would like to also do storage. So we're gonna do some more pathing right here for this and I'll put a warehouse right there. If I can find my storage button. Oh my God, guys, ah, there we go, okay. A medium warehouse right here. And then for food, we want a food. We're gonna want a gristmill and a bakery. I would also, we can just research all of this. We have enough to do it. So we're gonna research all of our food items. And the beehive is gonna be my best friend because once we get the paper, I can just start throwing beehives into these areas to uh, accelerate our food production. But for now, we're gonna do this and do this. And this area over here is going to become some good food production. Do, 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 demolish some buildings. There we go. So now we're going to need a grist mill, which is another building shaped the same way. So we're doing all of this on the water is to not take away from our farming. Now the thing about the grist mill is it's also going to need to be powered via water wheels. So this is going to be a summertime job, specifically, and we're going to throw in some power wheels here, or not power, water wheels, right here, Oop. Let me delete that, throw in some water wheels right here, right here, and right here, and right there, I think the power would be connected, I'm not sure. Uh, we only need the two of them, though, if we're being honest. And now the reason, that just like you saw, that's why this is only going to be a summertime job for most of this, uh, is because of all of this shenanigans right here. But we are going to high prioritize it. Uh, we're going to build a path down. That way they can actually get down there. Uh, we have some injured beavers. That's fine. Things happen. Where's my button at? Oh, there it is. Um, spazzing out right now. Just ignore me. Ignore me for the time being. And it should connect to that building. So that should be powered once it gets built. And this will be where some water gets stored to keep the crops alive for as long as we can. But um, it's not going to be for water to be... Not a water pump, a water dump. It's not going to be for water to be uh, flowing during the wet season. It's more just to keep the crops alive during that wet season. Injured beaver, just go lay in the medical tent. Do I need more medical tents? I guess I could put like three of them down. Just we, we could use some more medical, but we have enough beavers to rate some extra medical attention here. So let's get those built. Let's get these built. Oh, we have another house already? Okay, that's fine, because that means that we're going to demolish this one. Uh, that's the whole point of this, is that we have some beavers. Uh, unfortunately, we do have two homeless beavers right now, so hopefully this gets built pretty quickly. Look at all of them go to work. I'm proud of all these beavers. Another thing I would like to do is put one of these water tanks over here. Actually, yeah, we might put a water tank over here. Are they? How big are they? they? They're a four block, right? We can get a water tank put right here. That way they can just grab water next to their... I think it'll just make them happier. Having water readily accessible next to you instead of having to walk all the way over here. And if you're working over here, it's fine. We have a lot of water. Holy crap, four and a half thousand. I didn't expect to get that much water. But we should have this place done relatively quickly. Um, hold on, we're going to pause this job for now. We don't need that, but we are going to plant his crop, which is going to be wheat, right? We're going to do wheat. Not spattered water. Uh, wheat. And what's his growing area? So we'll do a... And that is the end of the drought. So, uh... That's not enough room for that, is it? No, it's not. Um, hold on. Let's unmark that. We're just going to do a bunch of wheat right here and then we're gonna do a bunch of sunflower right here that way we have a little bit of both but this really isn't meant for sunflower it's mostly meant for the wheat over here 
Which is why this actually needs to be... Can this hold just plain wheat? It can. Okay. So this is to hold the wheat. This is to grind up the wheat into flour. And then we're also going to need a building food. We're going to need a bakery. Which again is about that size. So we're just going to throw in some more platforms here. We'll throw in a bakery and another storage facility next to the bakery. A warehouse right here. And this will hold bread. Where's bread? And then this path right here is where we will place our bakery. And this bakery. There we go. Okay, so this should be an entire... And now we can do that and that'll be fully okay we are good oh here comes that uh seasonal flooding so we have a wet season you know what that means guys hope y'all enjoy the wet season time lapse Alright, we are back and we have a 23 day drought. Not the worst we've ever had, not the greatest, but it's there. And we are slowly starting to get this area built up finally, which is nice. Next wet season, our beavers will probably have a nice, healthy supply of... Let's, say, let's raise these up, but too late, I guess. Oh well. Um, they'll have a nice, healthy supply of bread to go along with everything. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that house, too, now. Uh, let's see. Let's delete all these piles of rubble. Because now we also have the benefit. All of this is being built. But that's paused. So this wheat will not be able to be produced. Uh, just because we don't have enough flow of water currently. But we have enough water here for a 23 day drought, easily. This is finally built, which means after we get TNT and some of those uh, other pumping systems, we'll be able to get water pumped into here, move this pumping system. Ideally up here, TNT that down, TNT all this down, make it a nice big square. TNT that down and then we'll build our pumps up around it. And we'll have water being pumped from the very bottom of this reservoir. Maybe somewhere like over here, and then have it come running around the back. Maybe. Uh, uh, should be pretty easy to do now, though. We have explosives. We're just waiting on these to be built. But, uh, fortunately, they require gears. So right now, that's the closest one to being finished. But we do have explosives, which means we can actually start some terraforming. As you can see, I started laying out the plan for this area as well, which will involve some more terraforming, because honestly, I think the best way to do this and to get water to the beavers the fastest, most efficient way. Yeah, this may take a while to figure out the fastest and most efficient way. But I would also like to figure out the seasonal flooding issue we have going on. So that's going to be another thing that we do. Maybe not this episode, maybe next episode. 
We got our storage over here. We do need to start working on where we're going to put the bigger storage containers. So I think if we start with landscaping, we may start putting our first layers of dynamite right here. For those bigger chunks of, uh, oh wow, they're just sending it, aren't we? Okay. There's the first four or five chunks of TNT. We don't have storage for the TNT yet, so they're just going to hold on to it. Which is fine. I think the only one that won't get built up there is that one, which is also fine. But as long as we have these wind turbines going, we will have explosives. Oh, this is the first explosives run. Oh, hold on. we got to slow down some time here. And we just got to... We're going to start from both ends. Ready? And... Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. We have landscaping now. My beavers are now in charge of everything about their environment. So now we have to figure out how big are these large warehouses again. If I wanted to put... That would fit two large warehouses... Right, one, two, yeah, they're each three deep. So if we wanted another, say, yeah, we'll do another row right here. But for now, we have to let them get through the night. And eventually they'll get this built. But once they get the first area built, we can throw in the first warehouse and the second one. So forth and so forth. Until we're done with the warehouses more injured beavers. At least we have enough medical tents now for them. And we have all of these built. We have two empty beds, nine babies, 59 beavers. We are pumping away quite happily. Yeah, this is another area where we're going to end up needing those, that TNT. So how do I want to go about this one? Let's build a pathway up right here and then that'll let us pretty much circle this entire area and then we can just TNT as we need right here like that and then we can also just TNT right there to give us access right here we're gonna have to TNT that that and that which they can do from one below okay so we've got that area settled we've got this area settled and they've already started laying some more TNT out, which is beautiful. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good, good time. And this area is almost done. Uh, besides the planks, this is going to require some gears and some planks and stuff. But I mean, for the most part, we're doing pretty well. We don't have power right now, which, yeah, the wind turbines aren't exactly turbine -ish. And they're not exactly going to work until the wind starts winding, but they'll still work at a very slow, reduced uh, capacity here. It's not the ideal output, but when these guys start spinning, we'll be good. Just bringing those planks and dropping them off. There we go. And now everybody's just going to shoot straight up to what they need and start producing everything we need, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're gonna have a good time with the beavers. Beavers are having a good time. Oh, got his teeth sharpening. Did they? They did clear this area up, which means I can put a water tank right here, right? Storage. And we'll put a medium tank right here. But this one is only going to obtain, not supply. So this is the water tank that I want to obtain from these water tanks, because these should be set to supply, I think. Accept, and then obtain and supply. I don't remember, but I mean, if I have it set to accept, it'll be fine. And then I'll just set it to water. That way they can always have water while they're walking home from work, or going into work. Uh, let's not waste this beautiful harvest that we have here, and let them go harvest before the water dries out at least. This will hold 
plenty of sunflowers and things. Even if we lose the next harvest. I mean, unless they built this. They would have to take it blanks right now. Oh, look at all that tea and tea. Oh, yes. We're just going to go ahead and send it. Oh, I love it. Is that big enough for the storage yet? Oh, that is big enough. We don't even need this back row. Hold on. Hold on. We don't need this back row. We only need the front row. There we go. Because now we can start putting in these large warehouses, right? And then soon we'll have enough for this large warehouse right here. Let's get rid of that. So that's one, two, three. All right, go beavers, go. We got some exp oh, we already have a... That's awesome that we have the... What is this? this one is for the scrap metal, right? Which means I can start emptying this. Empty that one out. And they just have to take all the scrap metal. Oh my god, it's like an army of little beavers. Look at them go. Look at them go. All the little clones just marrying along their little way. And that'll start to get full, and this will be empty. So many little beavers. So many of the little guys. 62 beavers, one without a job. They're almost done with that. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. We're 13 days into the drought. 14 days remaining. We're still doing really well on our water in our main reservoir here. Doing pretty well for resources. Eventually, we're going to have to move our scrap metal collector over here to start getting that and the other scrap metals from around here. How's our water pumps over here doing? Full. Pretty much full. We're full on water. That is wild. That, yep, okay. That is crazy to me. Crazy. Absolutely nutty. Let's put some more TNT down, shall we? There we go. Once this TNT is all built, we'll have enough room for our... Warehouses, warehouses, warehouses. We'll have enough room for another warehouse. Yep, oh, there they go. Yeah, we need to figure out the power. If I could figure out a system of water pumps. The only issue is with water is these uh, pumps take 700 horsepower each. Which means it takes... eight water wheels just to power the water pump so if you wanted a good flow of water that's why i said maybe over here and then have it piped around because it's going to have to pump with seven water wheels just to maintain the pressure or the energy that it needs to you get what i'm trying to say uh, whatever we do with it we need seven water wheels. Two more left, and then we can build our next warehouse. So this one's explosives. We'll let this one hold our... Yeah, we'll do paper. He's just sat on his ass, what do you expect? It's because there's no place to store his metal blocks yet. Do these metal blocks go in here? No, metal blocks go in one of these, don't they? That one. That one specifically is for the metal blocks. Right now, they're building the one for logs. I guess that's fine. Oh, they built the rest of the TNT. Let's go. Let's go. Another large warehouse. And we have room for one more, realistically. So we're just going to throw in another one. Let me just get rid of these roads right here. Put in another warehouse right here. How are we doing on everything? Food is stable at 1.6 thousand. We even got carrots. Oh, you know what I can do now? I can build these beehives. How big is a beehive's 
range of influence. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I were to take a beehive, put it right there. Interesting. So I'd have to take like, this one right here. I think. Just demolish that one and then it should be like that one. There's going to be a little gap up here, but that's fine. And then for these... Um, it's going to be about the same, isn't it? So let me see. Once I build these... Oh, I can... Because this is going to cover that entire area. And that's going to cover that. That's still most of the farm field. And then we're just gonna do the same over here. We're just gonna get rid of those in the line. And then we'll throw in some, there we go. And that will allow us to have faster growing food because these just boost the growth. It doesn't really give you a percentage, but it is nice. However, we may deal with more injuries now because our poor little beavers are gonna be exposed to to be exposed to bees now so they're gonna get injured more often but there we go that'll increase our harvest output and probably uh what, one two three four uh, that one right there that one right there and there's gonna be some gaps over here that's fine things aren't gonna be perfect but having boosted crops is better than not having anything the way I look at it. Yeah, those are just all the logs that those are getting. Cool. We have nine, ten days left in the drought. That's fine. Now they can build enough explosives for that, and then we're gonna come through again and one more layer of that. And they haven't built up to there yet, which is fine. Now that we have the TNT, we can also throw a ladder in. And I want to make this all two which means I'm probably going to get rid of the leaves. Well, not probably about it. Um, and then we're going to make this entire area too deep because of the flooding that we're getting. And we're probably going to try and make it a little bit bigger, to be honest. So if we mark some resources for destruction and we come out in a straight line right here, this is the area that will be TNT down and then TNT down again because we're going to make this entire area a double uh, no, not that one the entire area is going to be a double deep area and there goes, th oh no I left the pumps off, oh I'm stupid and foolish and foolish and stupid well, um, we might be able to save some of our crops. Might. But we can pause these guys now. Oh boy. This is not great. <laughs> I played myself. Oh boy. What have I done? I've done the dumb. Really have done the stupid, haven't I? Uh, landscaping. But we are going to take that and build that that way. Do this, and we're going to do it the exact same right here, just in number three. Let me guess. Can't reach. Figured that. Let's go ahead and uh, mark resources. Demolition. I'm gonna have to get rid of the showers too. But for now, that's simply so we can throw a road in right here. So they can reach and demolish those. So we can also build right there. So we're getting a little bit of water back into our 
hydrophonics area or aquaphonics water farms it's not perfect but uh yeah i kind of kind of screwed that one up didn't i mm. interesting i gotta do better about that oh look our bees okay well now that we're here how's the tnt looking up here so now we have logs, scrap metal. Who's the next one getting built? Looks like another logs one. Why are they so concentrated on building the log ones? I don't know. I do not know. I can tell you that I do not have the explosives yet because the wind is not blowing right now. But at least we're getting enough water in here to keep some of our spattered dock alive and hopefully we can just maintain enough water to keep some of the spattered dock alive prioritized by hauler by hauler so those places should be getting constant water from the haulers oh boy that was rough i'm not the smartest person mm -hmm. i played myself Let's see, where is it? Oh, still. Oh, they're starting to put some of the explosives here. Well, let's finish the explosives up here first, then we'll do these. These are much less important. These are going to be the I'm sorry, your tower is going to get knocked out for a little bit. I'm also going to need some TNT along this back row right here. Ugh, this is not great. These bushes will die in five days. How can I get water to them? Water. An irrigation tower would save this area at least. Because uh, we're going to lose a lot of our blueberries. We're also getting a lot of water, so maybe we don't need the irrigation tower just yet. So is that that one spot is still out of range? Oops. Bloop! There we go. Now it's in range. Now they can go get rid of it, and now I can mark all of this. Oh no, I'm still gonna need that, aren't I? Damn! I'm not very bright. And now we can just do this, and I'll just run a road right there. Now I can just run my road along the outside. No. Thank you. And I'll do this, and this, and that will give me ample building area for this TNT right here. I also like to build right here, so I can make this go straight down. Now we might as well just throw in that extra line right there. We'll TNT everything right there down. This only needs the one more. Very nice. We have plenty of storage in our industrial area now. It is truly an industrial area. Very much industry, very wow. Using TNT. Now that we have TNT though, I'm very happy. Uh, even if we lose these bushes, five days. Drying out, it'll die in five days. We only have 3.4 days left in the drought, so maybe, maybe it'll make it. Maybe. If these wind turbines could actually turbine right now. Yes. There we go. Make, make my explosives, please. Wind turbines, turbine. Hey! Maybe I am a god. The wind turbines turbined. There we go. Where'd they take that explosive to? Oh, he took it up here. Okay. So now it just needs to get built, and we're good. Perfect. More injured beavers, but hey. The food is going up, so these uh, are definitely helping keep the carrots up. 
don't really know about too much else, but the carrots are definitely going up, which is nice. Look at all of them coming out of their homes, go about their work day. Carrots are going up. Potatoes are pretty much maxed out. I'm gonna have to get one of those big freaking warehouses for potatoes, aren't I? Uh, we only have 2.7 days left in the drought, so we should be good for these. They only have 3.7, so as long as water gets down there to respect them, we should be good. And now we have room for the fourth and final storage area. There we go. That should be more than enough storage. And room for some more... Uh, wind turbines, if we're being honest. I could throw some turbines up there if I wanted to. But I don't really want to. And if we need a path up, we can get rid of this. We can put a staircase right there. And there we go. We have our path up on top of the roofs for any maintenance reasons. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, that planks not really a concern right now we are pumping a lot of water into these but not enough to care I don't know if there's enough water to here this productivity is not super high but if I prioritize one of these by haulers and by haulers I wonder if they'll leave water in there how are these coming along Aren't these all high priority? Oh, that's working hours. No, I'm sorry, beavers. 16 hours a day. There we go. Aren't these... Shouldn't these have been high priority? There we go. Uh, reset. Perfect. Now they should get built. I was wondering why that was built, but those weren't. That's wild. That, uh, I, that blind. Hopefully this extension helps with the seasonal flooding as well. I just love the explosions. <laughs> They're so fun. And then we could put our Lido's in as well. And then we'll make this a straight line once we get terraforming. We will be pretty set, to be honest. Uh, we did lose a lot of our spatter dock this dry season. It's not great. We almost lost some blueberries, because again, I'm not very smart. But we only have half a day until we start producing water. Another thing I need to do is TNT right here, so the water flows pretty much immediately down to here. There we go. Now we're starting to build these areas up. Perfect. We'll have a grist mill. We'll have all that. We do need some more beavers, though. So we're gonna dump some logs into this. We have 13 babies right now, but we need some more. So we're just gonna dump some logs into that. And that'll get built probably in the next day or so. And it is the end of the dry season. As of... Oh, wow. You can actually see our emergency pumps. That's close. That's that's as close as the water's probably ever gotten, to be honest. But the wet season is now open for business, I guess. Uh, we are open for business because of the wet season. They're already bringing all the logs for our next house, which is fine because we have 15 children. And the children will have no labor laws. Oh, we did lose some of our blueberry bushes. Um, very sad, but it happens, unfortunately. This area will be replanted eventually anyway. But we did survive a 23-day drought, which I'm not sure if that's the longest we've had yet. I really would have to look back. But it's definitely a long drought, and this water is taking its sweet time to build up. But we're not going to lose any of our foliage right here. We may lose the rest of these just because of the water. 
But that's fine. We really shouldn't be relying on blueberries anyway. I've been meaning to get rid of all these anyway. Yep, here comes the water. It's overflowing there, and now it's overflowing here. And we kept some of the blueberries. Some of them. Let's see if that, uh... How it goes. Uh, we still need this area to fill up, which is fine. But we are fully flooding over here. Yep, there goes the back flooding right now. That water is going, too. Ooh, that's some fast-flowing water. And we're up planting again, which is great. We only have seven jobs now that are unoccupied. Isn't too bad. That's pretty much just the hauling post. We are doing a fantastic job right now. Water, logs, food. I think that's just general supplies, which we don't have a whole lot of right now. But we'll get there. Could probably cover this entire area with... Oh, uh, there goes the flooding. More flooding. This is why I'm going to make this entire area too deep. That way, if that flooding occurs, it can kind of seep through first. It does help a little bit having this extra curve right here. And then eventually we'll get the Lido back, and I think we'll be fine. We really need all the extra areas right here. I think we'll be just fine. Our industry's a little bit slow because we don't have a constant source of power yet. Notice I said yet. Um, now that we have TNT, we can start cutting channels into things. And start pumping water into different routes. Uh, we do have water flowing this way now. Which is very nice. It's replenishing our main reservoir over here. Our lake. And the daggets are doing just fine. We have some injured beavers. Would you get injured? They need bread, cattail crackers, maple pastries, uh, scarecrows, beaver statues, all kinds of stuff. So as we... I want to start moving our farms to a more, like, secure area where I have to worry about the water a lot less. But that is the three-day warning for the next dry season. And if you want to see if we're going to survive, you're going to have to come back for the next episode. So thank y'all for joining, and as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.